Character rigging is very simple and I will show you how to bring the life to the character just in a few minutes. So follow me. Time is perfect for learning and fun, so let's start. I will use Adobe Illustrator, After Effects and plugin called Dewey. And if you need those, you can find the link below in the video description from which you can download that stuff. I will draw a very simple character because I want to focus on the animation so everything will be clear. This is the body and now I'm drawing a head. After that, I created upper arm and I will add two small circles which I will use as a key points for the animation. I will draw one for a shoulder and one for an elbow. Now I will group it and copy it for the second part of the arm. My right arm is finished and I will also use it for the left arm. I'm drawing legs the same way as arms. Finally, I will create a shadow. Now I want to separate each part of the body to a different layer. This is layer panel and you can find it here in the windows or simply use F7 command. As you can see, every shape that I created is located in the same layer. So I will create a new layer for each part of body because when I import the character in the After Effects, every layer will be separated and I need it for animation. When I am finished a new layer, I will move the shape in the layer where it belongs. Select the head and cut the shape with Ctrl plus X command. Then select the head layer and use Ctrl plus F for copying the object on the same position, but this time it will be moved to the head layer. Yeah, I will repeat the process for every part of body. I want to move the left arm to the background and to make it possible I will change the layer position. And that's it, the character is ready for animation, just save the file and we can start with After Effects right now. Ok, now we are in After Effects, first I will import the Illustrator file, in Project tab click on the right mouse button, then import and choose file, select Illustrator file and click Open. In this pop-up tab choose Composition and the Layer Size, then click OK. Double click on the gigantic character composition and that's it. Now the character is ready for life. And my layers from Illustrator are here. Look how beautiful they are. <laughs> now I will change the black background color. I will go into Composition, then Composition Settings and swap black to white color. This is how the Duik plugin looks like. Maybe I will make a tutorial about it. I don't know, so stay tuned. I divide my character ringing process in four simple steps. And when you remember the steps, a character animation will be so easy. When I select some part of the body, you can see an anchor point in the center of shape. First step, I need to move that point to the upper black circle of the shape. In this case, it will be shoulder. I will use pen behind for that. I will repeat the process for every part of body. It's done. After that, I will connect the arms, legs and head with central body part. Click on the spiral icon, hold and drag from right elbow and hand to the right shoulder and elbow. And connect it with the central body. Now my right arm is connected with the central body. I will repeat the process with legs, head and left arm.
When I move the central body, the whole character moves, so the second step is done. After that, I will add controllers on the hands and feet. For example, when I move the head controller, the whole arm will be moved, so I will select right elbow and hand and in Duik choose controller button and click create. Now I will move my right arm controller to the head point. Repeat that process with other hand and feet. And last step, I will select the upper part of the arm, then the lower part and hand controller. Now select IK in Duik, choose two layer IK and click create. And my arm is done. Yeah, it's really cool. Repeat the process with other arm and legs. And remember, the order in which you select parts is very important. Always select first upper part of the arm or legs, then lower part and controller. Done. This arm should move in the other direction. So, in FX control, check in clockwise. Use that for left leg too. My character rigging is done. Look how cool is it. Yeah. And one more thing. When I move the character, my arm and legs parts are separated. So I need to select controller, open stretch and unselect auto stretch. Do this for every controllers. Now it's good. Really cool. Look at him. That's how the magic begins. So subscribe because the best is yet.